One of the hardest parts about leaving early is uh, not waking up all your hostile doormates while getting your bags out of, uh, out of the lockers. Not an easy task. Oh. Christian and myself, we're headed to Mune now to uh, hit up the sand dunes of Vietnam. Another bus ride. What are you doing? Your heart starts racing And your mind don't control what it thinks you done In the clouds and it feels like heaven Are you here? Then you know you'll be just fine Yeah. So first order of business is to check the bed for bed bugs. I don't know. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you check it. Looks good. Anyways, so we made it to Mune. Mune is a town five hours south-ish of uh, Nha Trang, and it's known for its sand dunes, as well as its beaches. So right outside of our door, we got the beach, and then I think about like 15 minutes that away, we got the dunes. So we'll spend like a day or two here and check out all that stuff. And then we'll head down to Saigon, which will probably be our last stop in Vietnam. And for those of you wondering, where did Chris go? Where, where's Chris? Why is it just Christian and myself? Chris went to Thailand. We're meeting him in a week or two and in a little bit, but he, he just fast forwarded a bit. So he's in Thailand before we are, but we're meeting him later. I agree with that statement. I'm good for food. Let's do it. We noticed like just coming, th coming this far south, it got like insanely hot in the bus. The second they turned off AC, it was, it was a bit awful. Quickly check out the beach. I think, I think we have to go further down that away to get to beach. The tide is pretty high here. So if anyone can tell me what a winkle is, <laughs> I will give them five dollars. Christian figured it out. A winkle is some sort of fish type thing. It is, uh, I don't know, the first thing that popped into my head was a pig's tail, but um. Apparently a winkle is not that. Dog. Dog. Hello. That's one thing I've noticed about just Asia in general. One thing I really love is just the randomness of things. Just abandoned buildings like this on the side of the road. We're just walking to the beach and I mean we come across some really cool things. Definitely makes for some entertainment and just makes walking around fun. On the subject of randomness, cow. Oh, the things you see in Vietnam. Sir, dude. There's so many of these massive restaurants along the beachfront and just around as we've been walking. We've seen so many, but we've seen none with people actually eating in them. And they're massive, like they can seat a good amount of people, but no one is eating at them. Christian had said that this town, Mune, looks like it was like it was popular for a short amount of time and then everyone just kind of left and no one came back. And so it was made to seat and, and to support however many people, but like look at this. Like it was made to seat and support so many people yet there's no one here to seat and support. And that's the vibe I get like with the rundown buildings and like the fact that there's four local ladies who own the restaurant sitting at that, but no one else. It's weird. Another one. How they stay in business, I'm not sure. Maybe tonight it'll get more busy, but I can tell you that like in the past two minutes that we've walked down, we've seen like three of these restaurants and I don't even think there's that many people in the town to support all three of those. So we'll, we'll have to see. Right now it does not compute. So we've been walking for a while and um, haven't found the beach, but we did find this resort that lacked security at the front gate. So we just walked in. <clears throat> 
and I believe they have a beach and a pool and we're in. Oh yeah. Score. Private beach, even though we're technically not supposed to. There's one guard over there, but no one stopped us. Fairly sure that this is all public property, but you just can't get to it without paying a resort. Ow. Now it's time to try the pool. The guards over there rake in the sand. I think it'll work out great. Mr. Guard knew what's up. We, we got kicked out. We didn't take it back onto the lot told us we have to walk down 500 meters and then back out of the beach, so we're going on an even longer walk now. So, when one doesn't work out, you just go for another. Eventful stuff just happened. That city bus that I shot us on was going great until we had told the guy where we wanted to get off but he, he had no clue what we said, I guess, and he didn't tell us that he didn't know. So we just kept riding it, and we never got off. And then Christian realized, hey, gone a bit too far. And then so I showed the guy the actual address because I had it buried deep in my bag. And he's like, stop the bus. And he stops the bus. And then he's like, you two get off. And so he kicked us off, and he's like, yeah, the, you went too far. <laughs> so Christian and I ended up having to get a taxi all the way back. So we rode the bus way past our place and then taxied back. So taking the city bus to save money didn't work out because we got a taxi. Whatever though, it, um, it was a good experience. I now know where our hostel is so I can find it. But um, yeah, pro tip, whenever you're taking a bus and or any form of transportation, you should know where you're going. Anyways, it's beautifully sunny outside, so I believe we are headed to dinner. I'm gonna shower first though, because I'm all sea salty. And then, yeah, grab some dinner and see what's up. Donair kebabs from like directly across the street. That's our hostel. This is our dinner. Looks pretty good. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. We have to get up at four in the morning, so I'm gonna end it off here. I wanna thank every single one of you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you all in. Another one.